Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's really windy out today. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, difficult to do this, but I had a lot of questions about the solar trailer and uh, the dual battery setup on the bike. And, you know, a lot of, a lot of naysayers out there, blah, blah, blah. Right now, Seventy watt panel on the trailer is charging at one amp. It's connected right there to the dual batteries. So what we're going to do is take our folding panel out, which uh, we put parallel. We put we put parallels inside there so that. You could take any other uh, type panel and uh, connect it parallel with the, the trailer panel. I know you probably can't hear all this, but I hope we have the right cable here. Which I do. is unplug the panel and everything uh, from the battery while we connect the other panel. Uh, this one I don't I don't really like this little five five they have on here. It gets all stuck in the rubber and wants to barely go in. Uh, but it goes in. There's two USB charges on this thing. It's a folding 100 quad. I got an XT60 on it that uh, I got MC4s and an XT60 that this panel will go in parallel with the panel on the trailer, which is disconnected right now. So we connect both the panels. I have a little blank in there. I use the anti-spark XT90s on all this stuff, but right now we're connecting both panels uh, to the batteries. Yeah, I should have a little better spot here. <laughs> I just tucked up a little better there. So now we've got this 100 watt uh, super small folding panel. It's supposed to look like really small. And the 75 uh, poly on top of the trailer. It's a little heavy, but hey, it fell over out here a half a dozen times and it's still working. So we'll go with that. So right now, uh, Controllers are already set at the 58.8 volts for the batteries set up on the Rad City here. So uh, right now we're stopped. We threw this out. We got that out. All the questions I get online: Well, how much you get? You can't charge that. Blah 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 blah. This, you know. Uh, my Lincoln Navigator, you know, we'll do it or whatever. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is uh, try to peek under here and see what kind of charge rate we're getting. It is a, it's, well, it's not even midday yet. The sun's not right, really right on top of us. And I'm going to have to throw this panel out of the whack, uh, facing away from the, I can't see it. Oh, Take this off of here for now. 
get my hands out of the way. If I can get the panel down. The panel's still tilted way out of position. So I'm getting 2.19 amps, 116, uh, 121 watts, 1.9. If I get this panel down a little more flat, I would get a little more, but there it is. I'm getting 121 watts, uh, 2.1, 2.0 something amps, yeah. Yeah, that's more than you're getting at your home charger, so. <laughs> anyway, if you're going out fishing, camping, hunting, you know, you can grab some uh, energy, you know, while you camp, while you fish, while you hunt. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and sorry about all this focus. <laughs> I could do this at midday, I'd probably get 2.75. Anyway, that's the way the system works. The controller's up under here under the panel. I think everybody has seen all this. I just got the controller uh, piece of wood there and the controller on it. MC4 is over there with the parallel connectors coming off of it. Threw the meter on there just for testing today. And we threw the meter out, uh, I mean the folding panel out to uh, do another double check on it. Yeah, I need to do some work here on the corner. I thought I had that figured out pretty good, but uh, I've been moving stuff around and I need to make a little better in and out for the parallel connector there. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Okay, it's been an hour or so. I went up and had lunch. Uh, just left this stuff thrown out <laughs> while I went to eat. Uh, just to see what it do in an hour. I guess it's, I got some photos. We can look at the timestamps. Uh, sun's straight overhead now, pretty much. If I can get a shot of this thing without really opening the, if I can get the thing, maybe I'll get this over here a little bit. Uh, I can't make it out. I'm gonna take my sunglasses off. I can see it. Sorry, let me dry that. I don't know if it's coming up or not. I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Uh, 2.04. 2 amps. I expect a little better than that. Well, I got it tilted away from the sun now. Uh, to, just to open the lid. I guess I should have mounted this so you can see it outside, but this is not really going to be a permanent fixture. I mean, you get what you get, and that's what you get, so it doesn't really make a difference. Anyway, let me get my glasses. Oh, well, I didn't, uh, Jesus, what I wanted to see was how much we captured. Uh, looks like two amps. I got it tilted away now. Oh, 4.49, 4.49 amp or 251. Damn, this is. Charging 5674. 107 watts. We got 4.5 amp hours. 252.1 watt hours. Okay, there you go. Oh, yeah, these are the little lights I got from. Uh, HSN. I got four of these and two remotes. That's what I was using for the ground effects on the, that so I can stick one of these in the trailer and use for lights. Use them in the shop. Anyway, that's where that came from. <laughs>